For whatever reason, people love to watch athletes dominate their respective fields. Over the years, we've seen a ton of dominant champions when it comes to track and field, some more prominent than others admittedly, but all worthy of their status of champions. Ranging from Usain Bolt to Carl Lewis, these guys are elite. Today, we're discussing the 10 most dominant track and field athletes in history. Stay with us. Let's jump straight in with Pavo Nermi. The Flying Finn, as he was known, took part in races ranging from the 800 meters to the marathon. The distance runner managed to set an incredible 22 world records across his career, thought to be up to 58 by various international federations, and astonishingly won every 10K he ever competed in. However, to say this was his specialty event would have done a disservice to his performances in other other races. He never lost a single cross-country race either. Sadly, many people won't have heard the name Pavo Nermi as he raced back in the 1910s and 1920s, but that shouldn't diminish his achievements. At one point during the height of his powers, he won an unbelievable 121 races in a row from 800 meters upwards. It'd be interesting to see if he could replicate his dominance if he raced today. What do you guys think? We have Carl Lewis next. Stick around. The IAAF named Lewis the World Athlete of the 20th century century, which should give you a decent idea of how dominant the American was. Across his 18-year career, the legendary sprinter managed nine Olympic golds, eight world championship golds, and a slew of other silver and bronzes. One of the most decorated athletes of all time, Lewis excelled in the 100 and 200 meters, but also took part in the 4x100 meter relay. Such was his dominance, he managed to successfully defend his Olympic title in four consecutive games. Quite incredibly, he was also under defeated in the long jump for more than a decade. As a 30-year-old, relatively old in sprinting terms, Lewis bagged arguably his greatest ever achievement. He broke the 100-meter world record with a time of 9.86 at the 1991 World Championships. Incredible. Next up, it's Edwin Moses. Stay with us. Moses changed the game for men's 400-meter hurdles racing. Over the decade span from 1977 to 87, the American was completely undefeated, winning an incredible 122 races back to back. This alone should solidify his place on any list of this ilk. However, he wasn't finished there. He also broke the world record that he had set on no fewer than four separate occasions with the best of these efforts, 47.02, making sure he currently still sits in the top four all time. Moses didn't quite hit the height of some of the other names on this list when it comes to the big events, finishing his career with just two goals at each Olympics and World Championships. That's still two more than 99.9% .9 of people on the planet when put into context, though, so we'll let him off the hook. What do you make of Moses' career? Sergei Bubka is coming through now. Stay tuned. Ukrainian pole vaulting legend Sergei Bubka is almost certainly one of the most dominant athletes in his field in history. Representing the former Soviet Union for the majority of his career, Bubka managed to break the pole vaulting world record an unbelievable 35 times across his career, with his records only being broken on one occasion. Incredibly, he broke Terry Veneron's record again just minutes after the Frenchman had broke his record. He also holds the honorable distinction of being the first man in history to clear six meters. Sadly for Bubka, he wasn't able to compete at the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles due to the Soviet boycott in response to many Western countries boycotting the 1980 Olympics in Moscow, but he still managed a gold in Seoul in 1988. He also added six world championship golds during an impeccable career, but might look back on what could have been in 1984. We're looking at many people's goat next, it's Usain Bolt. Bolt still owns the distinction of being the fastest person ever to have lived, a record he set 13 years ago. His world record came in Berlin, but that wasn't the only thing he did throughout his career, far from it. He is easily the best male sprinter of all time, and you only have to look at his medal hall as evidence. He managed an incredible eight Olympic golds while also bagging 11 world championship golds while he was at it. He is also the only athlete to ever win three consecutive 100 and 200 meter titles at the Olympics. Oh, and did we mention he also holds the world record in the 200 meters? He managed to set that one at the same Berlin meeting he set the 100 meter record. Do you guys think Bolt's achievements will ever be beaten? Next up, it's Michael Johnson. Stay with us. Another legend of the sprint game, Johnson was unrivaled for much of his career, winning a superb 16 gold medals in top class competition. It should have been 17. However, his 4x400 4 meter team was disqualified after two team members were found to have used PEDs at the Sydney Olympics. He also holds the distinction of being the only athlete in history 
to win the 200 and 400 meter titles at a single games, a feat achieved in Atlanta in 1996. Quite unbelievably, he is the only man in history to defend his Olympic 400 meter title, confirming that during the 90s this was his and only his event. He still sets second on the all-time quickest list in the event with a time of 43.18, recorded 23 years ago. Who is your favorite sprinter of all time? Hale Gabrasilase is coming through next. Ethiopian legend Gabrasilase broke an incredible 27 world records during his amazing career and is still spoken about as not just one of the greatest distance runners of all time, but simply one of the greatest athletes. During the mid-1990s, he was unrivaled in his greatness, setting records in events ranging from the 2000 meters up to the marathon. However, it is widely accepted the 10,000 meters was his best event, as he managed to bag two gold medals in the event at two separate Olympic Games. He also won another eight world championship golds over the decade from 1993 to 2003, as well as going undefeated in 1999 and 2000 in races ranging from the 1,500 meters to the 10,000 meters. What a guy! Do you guys remember Gamber Selassie? We're talking Jackie joyner Kersey next. Stay tuned. Jack Jackie joyner Kersey was so dominant that the world record she set at the Seoul Olympics in 1988 still stands to this very day. Likely, that particular record will never be beaten, as she won it by more than 200 points. In fact, she still holds the top four best scores in history in the women's heptathlon, which should give you an idea of the level of dominance we're talking about here. When you think about the fact she was also unbeaten for a decade, as well as her 12 career gold medals, three of which Olympic golds, her achievements are even more unbelievable. What do you guys make of Jackie joyner Kersey's career? Tiranesh Debaba is joining us now. Debaba is easily one of the most dominant female distance runners in history. A specialist in the 5,000 and 10,000 meters, she was unbeaten for 11 years over 10 kilometers from 2005 to 2016, winning medal after medal in the process. All told, she ended her superb career with 14 gold medals, taking Olympic gold in Beijing over the shorter 5,000 meter course as well as the 10,000 meter and top spot in London in 2012 over the longer distance. This means she became and remains the only female runner in history to successfully defend her Olympic 10,000 meter title which is pretty incredible. Back in 2008 she also set the 5,000 meter world record which stood for 12 years. Give us your thoughts on Debaba below. And finally it's Javier Sotomayor. Don't go anywhere. Cuban legend Sotomayor holds the three biggest jumps of all time. He set those records in the late 80s and early 90s, meaning he is still the man who modern day high jumpers strive to emulate. He absolutely dominated his competition during the 90s, winning 12 gold medals over the course of his stellar career. Unfortunately, though, he only managed one Olympic gold but made up for that disappointment by bagging plenty more golds in various other top class competitions. He broke the world high jump record on no fewer than three occasions. Of course, his unparalleled 1993 jump of 2.45 meters still stands to this day, making him the only man to ever clear 8 feet. Wow! Who is your favorite track star of all time? Let us know below. As usual, thanks for dropping in on us today, and remember to swing by again next time for some more fun and games. And why not do us a solid by liking today's video, while also sharing it with any athletic enthusiasts you might have lurking on those social media accounts. Bye guys!